to share five ways, five tips, five hacks I have learned throughout my underarm natural lightening journey on how to properly care for your underarms or your armpits, okay? It's really, really, really good to know these things that I wish I done knew since I was in high school because like I'm telling you I was struggling with dark armpits for a while and they are getting lighter yes y'all like like y'all been bothering me about sharing that with you guys as well but I'm just the type of person I need to get all my facts straight I need to make sure what I'm saying is legit I need to research it like I need to make sure I'm not just talking out my booty hole and just like spitting non knowledge okay I like to spit facts okay and I'm not a doctor by the way like I'm not a dermatologist but this is just stuff that I've been going through stuff that I learned throughout my way and stuff that I research and I do so much research like y'all like I'm always on Google always so throughout my lightning natural underarm journey I've learned these five ways so I'm gonna share that with you right now oh and if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel if not it's cool I appreciate you for watching this video give it a thumbs up that's you can do that for me, please. All right, so without further ado, let's get to it. Five ways, tips, tricks, or hacks on how to properly take care of your underarms, armpits, scooters, whatever it is that you wanna call them, this is for you. Number one, use natural deodorants. Guys, this is so important especially for women especially a lot of women suffer from breast cancer and this can be a cause of it and I researched it I googled it yes use natural deodorant so secret I'm sorry I'm sorry but I believe you guys use antiperspirants I believe you guys use aluminum I'm gonna tell you right now Yep, yeah, I use aluminum zirconium. You don't want to use deodorants that have aluminum in it. Any anti ugh. any anti pesperant pesperants, any anti pesperants are so bad for you, okay? Because what happens is it tries to block your glands from producing sweat, and that's why they claim it's deodorant so that you don't stink because your body is not producing the sweat, but your body is supposed to produce sweat that's what it does if you're hot you need to sweat and you need to let it out there are so many different natural deodorants such as lemon such as there's a crystal rock you can use you can use coconut oil you can use apple cider vinegar there are so many i did a video on me testing different natural deodorants and my thoughts on them some of them i don't particularly love or am fond of but then there are others that i love and other people don't so you have to find what's right for you but anything natural anything organic it's good for you okay so the card is gonna be up here you can click on it after this video I'm gonna have all the rest of my underarm videos cards up here so you can check them out as well number two exfoliate yeah you need to exfoliate your underarms and your armpits because frankly that's what makes you smell when you have bacteria in your arms and your sweat touches it that's where the smell comes from I bet you didn't know that did you I didn't know that either, but I found out along my underarm journey. If you have to use antiperspirants or regular deodorants with aluminum in them, I recommend you exfoliate every day. If you are using natural deodorants, you don't necessarily need to exfoliate every single day, but every other day is preferably recommended. When you exfoliate your armpits or your underarms, it's just like exfoliating your face or any other part of your body. It gets rid of dead skin cells, bacteria, it makes it nice and smooth nice and clean and basically brightens it up because you know like dirt is dirty so like if it gets rid of the dirt like it's gonna brighten it up you see where I'm going with this exactly the way I exfoliate my underarms I use a loofah anyway for my entire body because I just don't feel clean unless like my whole body's exfoliated so I kind of just go and I scrub 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 but you can make a sugar scrub at home you can make a sea salt scrub at home there's many different ways that you can actually exfoliate so basically again find out what's right for you both number three 
detox i know this is another one that a lot of people are probably like detox your underarms your armpits yes detox like your glands are there and you need to clean your underarms all right and basically just like your face when you do a detox on your face or on your body what are you doing you're getting rid of toxins and harmful things that are in your body and you're removing them so you can be healthier and cleaner so it's the same thing it gets rid and removes toxins and bacteria so uh, I did a video on me using the bentonite clay so that is just one way that I really really love to detox my underarms you can check that out in the card up top or in the description box below I have all those links there as well again find out what's right for you there are many different ways that you can detox your underarms but it's really good to remove toxins especially if you've ever even used a deodorant with aluminum or antiperspirant you need to detox if you've never done it before you need to start now okay you can actually smell the toxins coming out from your underarms I know I know thank me later number four never ever shave dry you can get bumps as well if you have to shave which I don't recommend shaving at all I really recommend waxing use alcohol afterwards okay just just if you have to shave make sure you shave with the cream make sure you shave with the oil moisturizer something and then afterwards use an alcohol swab or peroxide or witch hazel which is really good for you and then just wipe the area afterwards so that way you don't get any razor bumps or any static or friction will probably go away because the alcohol or whichever cleaner you're using basically cleans that area for you if you have a cut don't use alcohol don't even shave trust me you don't want that burning feeling because that hurts and hurts all right i actually like i said i've gone to waxing i do my own underarm waxing i have graduated like y'all be so proud of me like the people that have been with me from the beginning of my journey like y'all proud or not i make my own sugar wax at home and i do it myself every two to three weeks i wax my own armpits and I, I love the results. I love the results. It gets it straight from the root, okay? I don't have to deal with any darkness. I don't have to deal with any razor bumps. And I don't have to do it that often. Because if you shave your underarms, you're going to have to do it every two to three days. So try waxing. It does not hurt. Trust me. It really does not hurt as much as you think. And number five, last but not least, how to properly take care of your underarms, your armpits, your whatever you want to call them moisturize now this is something that i really did not know about i never even thought about it from back when i was like young okay i've never thought about it until th this last year that i have been going through my underarm journey but it's important i moisturize my face i moisturize my body every single time i wash it every single time i get out the shower i never go anywhere without putting lotion on it's the same thing but you don't want to put lotion you want to put coconut oil you want to put olive oil you want to put a nice cream something that basically just moisturizes your underarms because believe it or not your underarms is still part of your body it's still your skin and it can get dry itself and it can cause darkness from being dry it can get cracked up and scaly so you want to take care of it just like you take care of the rest of your body it's almost like i haven't been treating my underarms good like it's just like there like i just like oh please don't stink and that's it but how can i just expect something to do something without taking care of it properly did that make any sense but y'all know what i'm trying to say okay all i cared about was my underarms not smelling but i never took the time to actually sit back and be like okay why is it smelling like what can i do differently what can i do besides just shaving it and putting on deodorant so listen these tips these tricks these hacks will really help you you'll see such a difference within probably a month i would say i definitely noticed a difference and if you followed my channel if you are subscribed and you saw my previous on the arm videos my first video compared to now y'all like it's a huge huge difference so i really hope this video helped you guys i really really do thank you so much for watching let me know below if you have any other tips or tricks that you do for your underarms or if this is something that's new to you that you want to try which you should because 
it's really really good for you anyway thank you again don't forget to subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and give this video a big thumbs up because all of that really really helps me out and keep it geek freak chic and sleek but most importantly keep it unique bye lovies